The time Dragon Ball looked like One Piece. If you've been following Dragon Ball for some time, you may have come across this scene, or perhaps you're completely unaware that this existed. But how did such a thing of beauty come about in the first place? Was it the character designer, a specific animator, a supervisor? What is it from and does it rival this image? Well, join me today as we answer all those questions with exception to the last one in this video. Of course, so like usual, the featured artist is Fatperp underscore Sama. Doesn't matter if it's AOT, Dragon Ball, or Cars. Fatperp has got you covered, so go show him some support. I'm sure he would appreciate it. And the link to his account is in the description. And tag me on Instagram and use this hashtag for your chance to feature in a video. But now back to this one. So firstly, the clip itself is not from an episode or anything like that, but from a video game intro for Dragon Ball Z Sagas that came out in 2005. You had quite skilled key animators working on it, providing some really nice cuts. However, regardless of whether it's an episode or an animated cutscene, it's usually the animation supervisor's style that directs what the overall look will be. The supervisor makes revisions to both layouts and key animation, and supervising this intro was Masahiro Shimanuki, a veteran of the franchise, having worked on the series as early as Episode 2 as an in-betweener, and so this odd change in the visuals was a result of his supervision. Of course, the episodes he supervised on Dragon Ball Z never looked quite like this. So what happened between then? Well, Shimanuki began working on One Piece right from the get-go with Episode 1, beginning in 1999, and at this point had been working on the series for several years now, and so a lot of those Oda-esque traits were brought over, providing quite an interesting fusion. Interestingly though, this isn't the only time this mix of styles took place, as Dragon Ball characters would take on a similar look within his scene on a crossover special back in 2013, and it would actually be quite a while down the line before he would eventually shake those traits off from his work, with his style gradually harkening back to its older look, with there being less spacing between the eyes and the faces becoming narrower. Although this effect of melding different series art styles together certainly isn't exclusive to Shimanuki. Masaki Sato, quite a renowned animator from Dragon Ball Z, animating iconic moments such as Goku transforming into a Super Saiyan, has incorporated various stylistic elements from the shows he's worked on, like Slam Dunk and Fist of the North Star, with now a more detailed and realistic look to anatomy and proportions when drawing Dragon Ball characters. Another example is Naoki Tate, who actually worked within the same studio as Shimanuki back on Dragon Ball, Studio Seigasha, and likewise his time on One Piece had an impact on his style, but in his case more so a positive one. All in all, I personally don't hate this approach or this intro because of it. It's an odd look for sure, but his style of shading at least carries depth and isn't that overly different from Z with the indented cheek shading and whatnot. And this intro features some nice animation. The scene where Ozaru Goku transforms, destroying Emperor Pilaf's base is my particular favorite scene, especially so with all those effects. And Goku taking on the Red Ribbon Army had some interesting storyboarding and animation as well. But with that final note, thank you for watching, albeit rather short. Hope you enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you later.